Welcome to the Buffalo Bills Dynasty Rebuild. I appreciate all the love that we've gotten so far. Thank you guys for keeping it going. So, our corner, Kevin Johnson, four-year guy out of Wake Forest, is coming back from injury. So, he is able to play again, which is fantastic. Now, in last episode, we did trade away uh, LaShawn McCoy. And I believe we traded him for a fifth rounder. So, we traded, well, 49ers trade the 2020 round five. So, fifth round pick to the Bills um, for LaShawn McCoy. That's the best offer we could get out of him, even though we were kind of tearing it up with him. So, the 6-6 six and six Bills are going up against the 8-4 and four Ravens. The Ravens are tearing it up. So, pretty much we're two games back from the Pats. So, we could potentially get a wild card, but we have to win. Let go. He's not going to get me. Allen now on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Now let's take a look here at the Bills offense. One of the players the Bills will be definitely counting on is wide receiver Zay Jones, who had a much better yield. Look at that stack on that right side with those defensive linemen. Gonna hand it off to Devin Singletary. This is the third round pick out of FAU, Devin Singletary. And again, he's gonna be stopped up. Ford is Mike. Ford is Mike. Bravo. Throwing his helmet on third. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. And a great what a down! To be a Let's go, Bajorquez. About the three-yard line. Someone's gonna be happy with that was a good punt. He's gonna be happy. His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that. The drive starts here with a carry by. Oh, you're kidding me. Goes Mark Ingram. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10, and all the way in for a Ravens. That's just bad D. Mark Ingram, 97 yards, as his guys are able to strike for the offense. All right, let's see if we can uh, come out and at least get a drive going. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out and little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back. On that first Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. Quick dump off. Good job, Josh Allen. This is close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the set. Oh, Zay Jones comes. He's get challenged at times. You don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. There we go. Ed Oliver with the sack. He'll go down. Good defensive stand. In there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere. Go ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit him on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him. Ran a screen and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yards. Tyler Croft, the beast nasty tight end. He's going to be taken. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge 6'6 target that they got in him. They really do. And it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had the last run. Here's second and a couple. Go. Okay. To throw. And he what kind of route running is that, kid? Drive on third and two. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. There we go. Six. 
And he has the first down before he's on conversion. And now they've got a first and goal. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Oh, Zay, catch it. Gotta be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing. There we go, Frank Gore. I don't know what kind of running what that was, but gee whiz, man. Frank Gore, his sixth touchdown of the season. As they are now all high praise for this rookie receiver. When we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measure. Let's go, defense, Tremaine Edmonds and Lorenzo Alexander on the tackle. What they really said competitiveness that's what they really liked about him the way he goes after the football competes for it and decides when it's in the air it's his and only his well brandon he's had a great day but sometimes the other guys make a play against you what's that expression they like to use when the ball's arriving and there's a defender there he just comes down with the ball he competes and takes it away great hands great ability to finish the catch let's go let's go tyler croft touchdown Throws it into the thing. His sixth touchdown of the season. We're two games back from the Patriots. Taking the lead. We're six and six. It's nice to have a big reliable target you can go to. Every time. A lot of people if only position is a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. I downloaded the um <clears throat> real next year's draft. So ETN's on the board. Along with a couple other Clemson players. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now throwing up. Zay, you gotta catch it, kid. Connect. That defense stand up and stop him. Second and five now. Allen. And his throw is gonna be incomplete pass. Check, 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 41. Hey, pick your game. From the gun, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Come on, Allen. Earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. Hey, Alpha. Hey, watch that. Hey, watch the pick that. Going for it on fourth down. Allen. He gets this out to Foster on the right. Team. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Allen to throw once more. And he no, what? Accepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And a super return as he gets this all the way down inside the 25-yard line figure out how on second down that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight so the shotgun snap to Allen and that will be incomplete come on kiddo that pass just a little bit off it looked like maybe he tried to force it in there game speed always different no matter what you do in practice can't simulate it right so your decision making everything has to be a little bit quicker sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust i'm going to come back to you i'm going to come back to you so they're going for it and here's allen and it's complete to Croft. and he's got this down to the 35. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Bills are certainly happy to have a healthy Tyler Croft. Remember, he had a season-ending foot injury last year with the Bengals in Week 5, so the Bills get him, and he re-injures that same foot in May in OTAs, but out there now and says he's feeling pretty good. Throwing on first down is Allen, and he's got his man. There we go, Frank Gore. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Go! 
Here's Allen to throw it. Cole Beasley again. He's having a great game. Taken down with the first down at the Ravens 17 yard line. Charles, this one not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points. Said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. Uh, what, what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win right on pace. Ah, oh, I had that outside hole. Guess what? They've got a shot. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Throwing on second and eight. Allen. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs... They can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Throwing his Allen on third. The quick there we go, Zay Jones. Able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Allen going to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zay Jones that time, but it'll be second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Coming and he's taken down. Of course, man. Come on. He's a threat to find the QB and he gets to him there. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen to the goal line, but it's incomplete. The safety that time, Tony Jefferson there on the coverage. Unsuccessful pass on third down, but at least you got three points here in your hip pocket. Yeah, and I would take it from my hip pocket and put it right on the shoe of my kicker and go get those three points. This isn't even a discussion to me. This is a chance to take the lead after a good drive. Do it. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Yeah, not a bad return here. He gets it out to the... Is that Tyler Croft that's injured? Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Now it's Jackson. Oh, you got to pick it, kid. Picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Jackson down. The throw again. Tremaine Edmonds. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Looking left side. Not today, son. It's Ingram. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be fourth down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting. All right, we just got to we just got to play our game. First down. 
No. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding the lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. On second and 11 now. Allen. Cole Beasley. 12 yards there and a first down. Singletary and across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They go right back to Singletary. Give me the first, kiddo. Down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. No, you got to catch that. Chances as well. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here now is second and ten again from the 41. Now Allen throwing again. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 22-yard line. There we go. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. A gain of three, second down. On second and seven, Allen. Cole Beasley! We needed that. Sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bills will add on to their lead. I think if you pull what a ball. The backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go. But he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded with the chalk of the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30 yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out All right. the field. So two and a half minutes left. Just got to hold. Too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. To throw again on second down. Jackson. Jackson hit and he lost. It's ours. Let's go. to the 50 to the midfield strike. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, Singletary. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Singletary again. 
And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. So Allen's going to look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Why is he dropping it? The football there, and it's second down. So line of scrimmage still to 39. On... I don't understand the drops. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back to throw. Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Allen. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And he's there we go. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Well, we looked at each other in surprise going for it on fourth down to the fourth quarter with a lead. But hey, you get it as a coach, you look like a genius. So the next time we see Coach, he's going to say, well, that's why I'm coaching. That's why you guys talked up there, right? He had the guts to go ahead and go for it, and it paid off. Foster. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the... He wanted me to throw the ball to him, so I'm throwing it to him, and he's dropping it. To throw is Allen. This will be caught inside. There we go. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. Steps away to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Allen. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. You're kidding me, dude. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. He is so inaccurate. A critical error there in a tight game. Of the we'll take the win, though. An electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone. And that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone. They don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field. Congratulations to them. Let's see, 330 passing, 107 rushing. They move back over 500 at seven and six. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, you wonder what this will do to their playoff prospects as they fall to eight and five. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week all right so so for charles davis and our entire 30 of 52 338 two touchdowns what, two charles picks rushing 80 for singletary 3.8 average 17 for gore 4.2 demarco two yards yeldon had eight receiving cole beasley 112 croft 83 and a touchdown 54 for zay jones 63 for foster how many drops did he have he had three drops come on my guy Alright guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're back to our winning ways, and I will see y'all later.